All right, it's chip of the day. Uh, today we have a nice big one. It is a Z8S180. Um, so if you liked vintage computers back in the old days and you did 8080s and 8085s and then you moved up to Z80s and boy, Z80s were nice. They were four megahertz and they were zoomy. And they had a lot more instructions, so you could write new code with Z80 code, and you could have a much, much faster machine. Now, if you ran CPM, you were still stuck with 8080 mnemonics, and you didn't get an advantage with the Z80s, but you could get, you could get CPMs, uh, a, uh, you could get a Z80 version of CPM in a different flavors and stuff, and you could, you could move up in the world. But anyway, what about today? Is the Z80 dead? Um, well, no. <laughs> um, they're fancier now. Uh, so Zilog, this is a static part too. This is Zilog static Z180. Instead of a Z80, this is a Z180. Okay. And so we really should call that chip of the day is a, a, Z, a Z180. And it is, it is just like an 80, a Z80 and it can run Z80 code just like the old days, except um, it has a bunch of other things thrown in as well. And it's much, 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 much faster. Remember I said four megahertz was going to be what you needed. Well, this is a 20 megahertz part. And, uh, uh, there are other ones that are good up to 33 megahertz or beyond. So, um, yeah, it is a, a fast part. So, so w what's so different about this part and the old part? Okay. Well, first of all, it's got a lot more pins. <laughs> it's got lots and lots of pins. Uh, it's got uh, 61 pin, no, 68 pins. 68 pin device. So yeah, it's got lots and lots of pins. You can get them in a PLCC that plugs into sockets or you can get them with gold wings, quad flat pack, and you could solder it down to a board, right? So it comes in both versions, but uh, yeah, these are, these are pretty cool. Now, oh, there's a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of numbers on here, you know, 20 megahertz, and you can look at the waveforms, just like the old days. It's all the same stuff. It's just faster. It's just faster. Um, so let's take a look at a block diagram now that I found. So uh, here's the here's the core. So this is the Z80 or Z180, if you want to say it. But here's here's the core. This is Z80 core. It's got the standard bus control interrupts and stuff. So this is normal Z80 stuff. Timing generator. This is normal Z80 stuff. And then at the bottom, there's a, there's the uh, data buffer, 8-bit eight 8-bit eight bus, just like as before. This one is a little bit different, though. The address bus now goes from A0 to A17. 17, yeah, that's a, that's a lot farther than, uh, than the olden days. So... Uh, the uh, part also can do memory mapping. It can it can page in different memories, so you can you can use more than the Z than the eight a sixteen bit bus used to do. Uh, this one allows you to do a lot more than that. Plus, it's more like a microcontroller. Okay, it's got uh, programmable timers, a sixteen bit. Uh, it's got a serial port. It's got another uh, uh, serial port over here. It's got a, uh, uh, a, a serial uh, SCI port here, uh, DMA controls. So, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of fancy stuff. This serial port also has our uh, CTS, RTS uh, hardware shaking, handshaking. This one does not. This is more of a more gen a generic, uh, a generic one. This one you would use for um, uh, the... Uh, SPIE type of stuff or you know, clock clock input data output data right the the, the three um, and yeah so really really fancy so what does this what does this chip look like and why would you want to use it these days all right uh, I'll be I'll be showing this board in a different video but uh, just for the sake of this video you can see how how a Z180 might be used okay so this is a single board computer. And here is the, uh, the, the chip we were looking at, the uh, 7, 7.8S180. So this is the Z180 over here, all right? 
And uh, let's say that you really liked Capros or Osbournes or one of those old S100 M size or Altairs or whatever. You wanted to kind of do that today, but number one, you can't afford one of those big boxes. They're super, super, super expensive. And number two, they're very complicated and hard to use and floppies and all that stuff. They're just kind of outdated. Um, well, here you go. Here's a CPM computer all on one little board and kind of up to date. This is, this is a nice board. And uh, I like this board for different reasons, but we'll go into those th on the video that I do on this board. But yeah, uh, it has uh, uh, memory. So it's got uh, RAM and it's got two ROMs. Remember I said you could have lots and lots of, uh, uh, you know, address space. So these are actually uh, selectable. You can either run this ROM or you can run this ROM on this board so you can page select things. Um, the uh, uh, clock generation is a, is a, uh, is a oscillator here. Uh, this particular board is running at 18.832 megahertz. So 18 megahertz, 18 and a half megahertz board. Um, it's got a bunch of connectors over here. So this is your IO. It's got a uh, serial port A right here, serial port B right here. It's got a, a, a SPI uh, SD card over here, and it's got an SDI SD card over here. So two SDI ports, two serial ports, and then one extra thing over here, which is I squared C. And you said, hey, well, I didn't see I squared C on the... Uh, on the data sheet, and you are correct. This particular I squared C is a bit banging I squared C, so it's it's done in software, but it allows you to to hang uh, I squared C devices on it. Uh, battery backup here for the real time clock, which is here. Uh, so we have uh, a real time clock and uh, some addressing and uh, some ports over here. I'll talk about that in the other video. So yeah, there you go. And then it has a bus expansion. If you want to put this on a bus or solder some more connectors on it for multiple buses and add things to this to this card. It's kind of a, a whole series of these cards. Um, watch my video on SC126. That'll be the upcoming video, SC126. That's the name of, of this card. But yeah, there you go. This card will run CPM, as you will see in the other video. And uh, it's all... It's all ready to go, and you can just buy these all put together, ready to go. I got this one used on eBay, um, and uh, yeah, we'll show it off on the next video.